Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion. This week we're going to look at why baristas hate decaf. Hey everyone, how you doing? I hope I haven't caught you offside already with the topic of uh, this week's video. Do you remember last year when I took that week off decaf and I kind of documented my uh, results? I was um, talking about how if I ever found a uh, really good quality decaf, I'd be proud to serve it in the roastery. Well, last week I went to a coffee cupping in Perth um, for the guys called uh, Coffee Net. They are some specialty coffee uh, importers uh, who were from Colombia and have farms in Colombia. And one of the coffees on the table was a decaf coffee and it is produced from a specialty coffee farm and then decaffeinated. And I have to tell you that it is the best decaf that I've ever tasted and when I tasted it, I was like, okay, this is that decaf that I was talking about last year and I'm going to get some of it in the roastery. So I roasted the first batch of that yesterday and if you've been following my uh, Insta stories or Snapchat, you would have seen that I was doing some cupping on there. And uh, my first roast was pretty good. I am pretty happy with it, but I think I can bring out a little bit more. So um, it's not available just yet, but I will tell you about when it is. But right now, I just want to have a bit of a chat about decaf because it is one of those things that like people have some serious hate for it. And I want to kind of uh, get perhaps comments from you guys. But first, I'm going to give my opinion on uh, why I think people have this uh, intense hate or dislike for decaf. I think most of the reason is that it's a little bit behind the times in terms of where our uh, coffee producing is at. For example, coffee producers have uh, come leaps and bounds in how they're producing coffee and um, picking and processing and all that kind of thing. And us as uh, roasters have learned more about how to be more consistent in our roasting techniques and uh, bringing out kind of more intricate and interesting flavors. And then of course, uh, you guys as baristas, have uh, come a long way in terms of how you actually brew the coffee to bring out those flavors as well. Whereas decaf, I think is still a little bit of a step behind that. So while we're tasting these really interesting coffees, um, there are probably only a few decafs that are really that high quality. And most of what we're tasting is more like uh, what coffee was like, say uh, a few years ago. And that's why I was really pumped when I tasted this specialty decaf because um, it is really interesting in flavor and I think it can um, hold its own in the uh, kind of specialty coffee arena. But getting back to uh, why baristas have this hate for coffee, I think it's probably because like when you're learning as a barista, you either had like a pre-ground option or perhaps a uh, pod option, or perhaps, you know, the, just the decaf you used, even if you had your own grinder for it, it didn't get used that regularly and so it was never as fresh as your uh, specialty coffee. Um, all of these things that would lead to it be, being uh, you know, harder to work with or harder to extract and as a result of that, you know, perhaps the flavor wasn't there. And I know as baristas, we just want to kind of produce the best coffee we can. So uh, any time that we're producing something that we're not proud of, uh, it kind of just hurts us a little bit inside. But I think it's always important to remember as a barista that even if it's not the coffee that you would personally enjoy, if it is something that uh, the customer really loves, then you got to kind of picture, you know, this drink for them being like that double shot flat white that you drink for yourself. Um, so I think you kind of got to just think about it a little bit more in terms of what does the customer really want. And if I can put that in front of them, they're going to be really happy and that's going to make me happy. Ultimately for myself, the way I think of it is like, you know, you say if it was mid afternoon and I wanted a really nice filter and I could have this really nice natural processed Ethiopian and it was fruity and delicious. Imagine if you could have that tasting experience and then it happens to be decaffeinated. Would you still have that same bias towards it? I know like personally, I definitely wouldn't. Like if I could sort of take a sip of something and it tasted delicious, I wouldn't care if it was caffeinated or not. In fact, a lot of the time I like have to kind of monitor how much caffeine I'm uh, drinking because I'm doing cuppings and all this kind of stuff. I don't want to drink too much coffee. So if I could have a decaf coffee in the afternoon that tasted uh, ridiculously good, I would be super keen on that. So from the roastery perspective, I'm really happy that I'm getting on this decaf train. I'm really happy with this coffee and I want to see how the uh, flavor profile develops as I roast it a few more times and learn how to uh, roast this decaf. But really, I just want to start selling a decaf. Um, and this one happens to be really good, but kind of really watch the uh, kind of decaf style of greens now and see if I can find kind of better and better and better decafs um, this one's tasting pretty good, so maybe I won't be able to for a while, 
but it'll be interesting to see the development of uh, specialty decafs now that it's something that I'm looking into because I'm uh, buying and I'm sourcing that product. So yeah everyone, that's uh, the video for today and I really want to know your opinions because uh, last time I did a decaf related video, the comments went crazy um, and I really want to see um, what you think of the idea of decaf. Are you just completely against it or do you think it has its place? Have you tasted some really good decafs in your time or have you never drunk decaf because uh, you just drink uh, coffee for the caffeine content? It would be really interesting to get your uh, thoughts on this one below. And yeah, if you're a roaster and you're roasting some really good decaf, uh, tell me about it. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy to be uh, kind of getting on board this. Um, so the decaf isn't available just uh, yet on the website, but it will be available uh, just as soon as I find a uh, roast profile which uh, kind of uh, na really nails it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really looking forward to the conversation and if you uh, comment, I will reply with my thoughts. So let's get uh, involved in the uh, comments below, but I'll see you next week. Keep frothing.